everybody, this is Dr. Papian, and I'm about to uh, show you a speed build of a brownstone that I made a few days ago. I think I technically made it yesterday, but it's getting a little fuzzy in my mind because I also built some other stuff yesterday. Um, well, right now I'm, I guess I'm cutting out and making all the freezes. The freezes were pretty difficult to find one that I liked because one, brownstones have freezes. And they've got large freezes, which means I knew I needed the top floor to be either medium wall height or tall wall height, and I'm not one of the types of people that likes to have my walls that high in the game, because I personally feel that it makes it quite difficult to furnish and decorate the walls, because it's like, man, this coat rack would look really nice here, but it's a tall wall height, so this coat rack is literally 12 feet in the air. Maybe that's just a problem for me, but um, that's something that I don't really like. It's also hard finding a quote-unquote, ooh, I just bumped my mic, sorry, a quote-unquote foundation color for me, because I didn't really like these giant brown stones, but I, I'm pretty sure I stick, uh, stick with them because they match the brownstone bricks that I chose. But I also decided instead of building a foundation, I wanted the bottom floor to be a bottom floor. It's just below the main floor. Oh, now I'm getting into the weird fence. Putting down that gate onto that fence messed it up, and then f that one little spot that you see that's open, I could never get another fence to be built there. And I tried a few different things, and it just didn't work. Um, so I decided that I would leave it open. And that little area is going to be like a little storage area. Like, um, a storage unit kind of thing for the apartment. I kind of turned it into, like... A place where you work on like a, like a garage where you work on a car and that's the only reason why we shouldn't have cars in this game because they're all broken um, I like cars I would like the Sims 4 to be a little bit more like the Sims 2 even if we can't get an open world I still want the fake cars that we can park places I'm not sure if I've taken yeah I've already taken down the um when you're facing the house the right side of the house I've taken the windows down because I was thinking, traditional brown houses, um, you don't, like, it's connected to another apartment, so, or brown house, I guess. I imagine them as really fancy apartments, like townhouses. I don't live in a city where brown houses are actually all that common. I just kind of looked at pictures on the internet and said, yeah, this is, this is what I'm going to build. But since I imagined it like a townhouse, I imagined it connected to the one next to it, so I didn't put windows on one of the sides. Later on, I realized that the floor trim also doesn't go around there, so I, um, I put, like, these steel girders and wires there to kind of fill the empty space. I guess I could be there. I don't know. It was, it was mostly because it looked weird without the floor trim in one section of the wall. Um... I feel like that's all I need to talk about right now about the build, so I'll get back to the build later. But I went to my sister's college graduation this weekend. Um, it's been a long time coming since she's 28, and she started going to college in when she was 18. She took a few years off, though. Um, but it was really nice for her to graduate and then be able to have Mother's Day as her graduation ceremony the next day. Like, not ceremony, but party. We had a little get-together at her house for Mother's Day. Because my sister is a mom. And that means I'm an aunt. I'm a bad aunt, but I'm an aunt. <laughs> the other day I forgot how old one of my nephews was. Um, the other thing about the graduation is we thought it was gonna rain, so... We thought the graduation was being moved indoors. It was still outdoors, it was an outdoor graduation, and it was overcast, which was nice. Until about two and a half hours into the graduation, my sister went to a very large school in our area. It just, the sun, it came out and it said, hey guys, I hear you wanted some sun at this graduation. And so now I'm sunburnt and it's, it's, Wednesday when I'm saying this, and I still have prominent 
sunburn lines on my skin. It doesn't hurt, but I've got the sunburn lines on my skin, and the graduation was on Saturday. So, that's interesting. Oh, by the way, the floor plan for upstairs and downstairs was giving me a lot of problems. So, just keep that in mind when you see how awful the floor plan upstairs and downstairs was for what I wanted. But, yeah, I'm, I'm still mildly sunburnt. And my school semester is ending, and I'm actually getting back some of my grades right now, which is nice. So I've got more time to actually play The Sims. And I've been craving building recently. It's like, man, houses, apartments, it's great. Um, this semester I took script analysis. I took the history of modern Britain classical archaeology, and I did a theater practicum. I'm a history and classical studies major, so when I graduate, hopefully I'll get two degrees, because that's what a double major does. And I know my grade for script analysis is an A. Ah, oh, my theater practicum is also an A. And my classical archaeology class is a 97A. I'm still waiting on the history of modern Britain, though. I took that exam yesterday. Hopefully, I've got straight A's, because, man, I really want to be on the president's list again. It was really nice being on Dean's list and president's list last semester, and it really made me feel validated about my schoolwork. So, hopefully we get that again. I wonder if my professor actually left a comment about the theater practicum. Here it just says an A. And I kind of want to know what he thought of my portfolio that I sent in to him. So... What do I type? What website am I going to to look for that? Probably... I can check my email first. My school email. Don't mind the weird typing sounds. Oh yeah, this is when I was having a real hard time with the... with the ground floor. I wanted to have two bedrooms and a fully functional bathroom, like, at least a shower. But it's really hard to get a fully functional bathroom with a 2x2 two two room, in my opinion. I feel like it's a little bit too cramped, and I don't like playtesting my builds. And sometimes that's a bad thing. But I kind of stuck with this, like, weird diagonal which really made it difficult for me to furnish the like little den living room area of the build. But I ended up getting something that I didn't absolutely hate. I didn't love it, but I didn't absolutely hate it. I think I'm overly critical on my builds sometimes because they feel unrealistic, but also they feel realistic in another sense because I'm thinking like, Oh, the floor plan would probably be like this. It makes sense that each floor would have at least a half bathroom on it, even the um, the main floor that has like the kitchen and dining room on it. So, I also made that the laundry room, and I feel like that's fairly realistic. I really like the realism of laundry, but I don't actually like playing with laundry. So I put it in a lot of my builds, but I never play in most of my builds. I'm one of the types of simmers who likes to build more than anything else. Like, I don't actually like playing The Sims. I like building in The Sims. I just feel like when I was six and playing The Sims 2 when it first came out, I was a lot more creative than I am now when it comes to, like, playing The Sims. Like, I would have, like, cheating, betrayal, vampires. All of these random things. I'd have Sims get ab abducted by aliens or have babies with people that aren't, they aren't like dating or married to. And like nowadays it's like, man, I want my Sim to get promoted. And even that's difficult. Right now I kind of want the Sims for university, but I heard this morning that there's a leak that it's probably going to be like a Sims 4 Island Paradise expansion. Which. I'm, I'm gonna say it now, it's not really for me, but could be worse. They could be giving us, like, The Sims 4 aliens again. 
like, expansion. We've already got aliens and get to work, and we've got alien plants in Strangerville. They might say, why not more aliens? I think the aliens in get to work need a lot of work. <laughs> Is it get to work? Yeah, it's get to work. So the scientist career. I feel like they behave just like normal sims, except for they've got a voice filter and they've got a weird outfit and blue skin. I kind of wish it was more like the sims in, um, well, like the vampires in The Sims 4, maybe, where they actually had, like, vampire goals. Because these aliens are like, oh, I want to be a serial romantic. And it's like, you do, alien, just like all the other sims in the game? Okay, fine. But, like, the vampires, it's like, ah, master vampire, good vampire, vampire family, which is... Also, a little bit weird how there are three aspirations for that, and then there's like 12 aspirations in the game total. Did Get Famous come with one or two aspirations? I think it only came with one. No, it came with two. It came with Master Actor and like Fabulously Famous or something. I'm pretty sure. I'm like pretty sure. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Maybe I should look this up while I'm doing Sims stuff, talking about the Sims. Oh, right now I'm working on the little toddler's room. I actually kind of liked this toddler's room, even though it's like really cramped and a really weird shape. Sims for aspiration. Sorry about the typing. I also hope that Right now, I'm planning on having The Sims 2 soundtrack running behind me while I'm talking because I'm pretty sure The Sims 2 soundtrack is out of copyright right now, like they've released a copyright on it, and um, I personally really like The Sims 2 soundtrack. It's very nostalgic for me. There is a weird divide in The Sims community of Sims 2 purist, Sims 3 purist. No one really cares about The Sims 1 anymore. We all realize that it had a lot of problems. The main one is people catching fire all the time. Like, just spontaneously bursting into flames. Because they cannot do anything else. And having to eat three plates of food to feel full again. But like, The Sims 2? Amazing game. Sims 3? Pretty good game to me. Um, then The Sims 4 is like... The game is better than every Sims game we've ever had before, but we still want more. We're a very greedy community when it comes to that. And like, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm blameless here. Like, I want the university expansion for The Sims 4. I would really like at least decorative cars and the fixer-upper car that was in The Sims 2. I would like open neighborhoods, or at least the little groups of like four or five buildings in a row that you can see when you're like on this lot you're loaded in and you can see at least three other houses I'm pretty sure maybe four and I'm I get a little bit upset that I can't just immediately go to that lot I have to make, go through a load screen and I would be fine with that much of an open neighborhood but I know a lot of people want open world and that's just not gonna really happen probably it's gonna be really difficult for the sim gurus to make that happen. Um, I actually pulled this up a few minutes ago, but I'm looking at it. So, world famous celebrity, master actor, or actress. Yeah. Okay. I was right. There are two. <laughs> there are two aspirations for get famous. And then there's three for vampires. Because your vampires are very ambitious people, you know. That's another thing. A lot of people hate the Vampire's Pack. And while I don't like the vampires in the Vampire's Pack, my favorite floorboard comes from that pack. You will see it in this build. So, sorry if you want to download this build and you absolutely hate the fact that there's floorboards in it. Well, it looks like we're getting to the point of the video where I need to wrap things up. So I've been Dr. Papian, my origin ID is dr underscore p-a-p-i-l-l-o-n, Dr. Papian. 
and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you.